I'm gonna tell y'all a story today. So next to my little bit jar there, that's Esther, the other half <laughs> of Polly oh, and no. Esther, Polly Esther. And Esther is a mannequin. She used to live in a store, a department store window. And one day they were gonna throw her out and we rescued her and brought her home and she lives with us now. And my wife is very camera shy. She doesn't wanna be on camera at all. So Esther became my substitute wife for being on camera and things like that. Uh, I recently hit the 50,000 subscriber mark and I was like, well, what kind of fun things could I do with my stream to celebrate? And I thought, I'll buy a wig that looks just like Esther's little pixie hairdo and I'll wear it on stream one day. So my son was on the phone with his nurse today. They're doing a check-in call. Things are really weird now, you know, in the times we live in with the social distancing. They don't want to come out and see him, but they want to call and check on him and find out how he's doing. So the nurse calls today to talk to him. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer, you know, uh, being cooped up, can't go anywhere, can't go to board game stores and things that I like to do. I'm expecting some packages and they can't get here fast enough. It's so every time I see the mail truck go by, I'm looking to see if it's something for me. And then he says, and even my dad, he's waiting for a wig to come so that he can wear it and pretend that he is his mannequin wife. <laughs> he says this <laughs> on the phone to the nurse and she's like, oh, how does your mom feel about that? And she's met all of us, so she knows who we are and stuff, but this is the first time she's ever heard about a mannequin wife being in the home, let alone that I have plans to put a wig on my head to look like the mannequin wife. So <laughs> she's like, how does your mom feel about that? And he's like, oh, she doesn't mind. <laughs> and then, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they the, the conversation trails off and they leave it and then uh, my wife is telling me that this went on and I'm like laughing laughing and then it occurs to me that the nurse probably thinks that mannequin is code word for some kind of a sex doll that's in our home <laughs> this mannequin wife and I just see the gears turning in her head about the mannequin wife that's really a sex doll and me putting a wig on to look like the sex doll and I'm like, oh my God, this is terrible. <laughs> what am I gonna do? How can I fix this? This woman is never gonna look me in the eye again. She's gonna be like, uh-huh, <laughs> your mannequin wife, I see you. She's like, she must think I'm like some next level pervert. And she's like, dang, what's going on in their house? They're freaky. I didn't know they were like that. I thought they're nice people, but they get freaky. I can't recover from this. How can I explain to this woman what it really is without it looking like me trying to make some cover story that I'm not really freaky? It's just gonna sound like a bunch of lies. <laughs> like, I'm like, I am done. This woman is never, she's probably going through all the other people. And I was like, hey, did you know that they get freaky over at that house? They got sex dolls and wigs and all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, oh no. Yeah, just show her your stream, dummy. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping that would be it will be enough, but I'm like, she's just gonna think I'm just made all this up and like, oh no, this is all very innocent and not freaky at all. Yeah, I'm gonna say here and she she's is. Just gonna be like, See, she doesn't yeah, have a big hole doll. in her mouth and she doesn't have a slot down below. She's a real mannequin just with no her, her no apart. extra holes anywhere where they're not supposed to be. That's oh. almost weirder. <laughs> she's probably called all her friends to tell them, right? She's like, oh my god, you know. In these boring times where everybody's sitting at home, she's like, Have I got a story for you? She's like, I'm talking to a patient today, and he told me his dad has a mannequin. And I'm like, Oh, I'm dead. It's over. It's over. But at first, I thought it was funny, and then I was like, This is terrible. Just make sure there's nothing like weird and crusty on Esther whenever you go to her. Put her in her clean clothes. She'll be like, yeah. uh -huh, I see. <laughs> Let me, she, she'll be not like, her night. Well, well, it just so happens I have a UV light here. Let's see what lights up on her. <laughs> yes, that was a crazy experience today. So my wife's like, it'll be fine. 
I'll just email her and explain it to her. I'm like, oh, okay. I hope that works. When the basement why? flooded, she was laying in the Ow, corner. Oh yeah, why was she on the floor, Polly? I don't interact with her on a regular basis. <laughs> Polly uh -huh. flooded the basement. She does not have a shirt on. Mm -hmm. Is that because you mm -hmm. took it off of her when you trained her up on the wall? I told you mm -hmm. why she doesn't have a shirt on. I told you mm -hmm. why. Yeah, you soiled her. The basement mm -hmm. flooded. She got wet and her shirt Oh, Did she got wet. Wash. Oh. oh my god. Holly was just like went down to the basement with Esther chained to the wall, and he's just like, "Honey, the CDC says we should be wearing a mask." So and he pulls out a surgical mask. He's like, "This one's for me." And then he pulls out a ball gag, and he's like, "This one's for you, honey." <laughs> it's just like watching the Titanic sink. I'm just going down. I'm slowly going down. Good night, everybody. Bye.